published, 2043 EDT, the 15th of April 2018, updated, 12 o'clock EDT, the 16th of April 2018 Britain is set to bask in the hottest April day for 10 years this week as an African plume brings highs of 26 C across the UK, but back to school families moan that it comes just after the Easter break, parents took to Twitter to say it's typical the sun would come out just as the holidays end and children go back to school, Karen Wordoli wrote, I can see the sun today, oh it must be hashtag back to school. How come two weeks of crummy weather then back to school and the sun comes out of hiding? Benji Price said, two weeks off of poor weather and then it's glorious sunshine on the first day back. It is the summer term I guess. Carter Martin, 5, and his sister Zara, 9, from Birmingham, play on St. Anne's Beach in Blackpool in their shorts and t-shirts in the sunshine sun, at long last. Nine-month-old Emily Gregory gets her first view of the sunshine on Bournemouth Pier today Flocks of people took to the beach in Brighton as African weather made its way across Britain today People of all ages enjoy a beautiful spring day in sunny Weymouth today as spring finally arrived Sunrise at Rockford Common in the New Forest near Ingwood, Hampshire marked the start of a week of fine weather a map showing the African plume that is moving across Britain this week a 1,500 mile wide front of hot air originating in North Africa will be bringing the hotter temperatures, arriving on Monday before increasing later on in the week. The African plume differs to the Spanish plume the UK experienced last summer which brought with it temperatures of 25 C. A Spanish plume is caused by cool Atlantic air being pushed towards Spain, which in turn pushes warm Spanish air towards the UK, bringing with it hot humid weather. The toasty temperatures have sparked safety fears for London Marathon runners who may collapse as the mercury rises to the highest level seen during the event since 2007. A woman and her Scottish terrier enjoy the afternoon at Green Park in London as Britain prepares to bask in the hottest April day for 10 years families walked their pets along the seafront in Weymouth as they made the most of the rare sunshine bagging some rays. Spring has finally arrived on Bournemouth Beach today, and it looks like it could be here to stay selfie in the sunshine. Three kids use a selfie stick to get the perfect shot of them on the promenade on Bournemouth Beach. Three teenage girls relax on the seafront in Brighton this morning as an African weather front passed through the country. It was a morning fit for sunglasses and shorts as this young family strolled down the promenade earlier today in Brighton. A father and daughter spent their morning in St. James Park soaking up the sunshine. An African plume is set to bring highs of 26 C across the UK next week sparking safety fears for those taking part in the London Marathon Windsor Castle in the hazy sunshine taken from the top of the Air Force's Memorial Building, in Runnymede, Surrey. On Saturday it wasn't quite warm enough to go for a swim, one little girl is seen playing with her family on the beach in Weymouth and dipping her toes in the water in both 2007 and 1996 temperatures peaked at 22.2 C which meant hundreds of runners collapsed and more than 5,000 were treated by officials for heat-related illnesses. More than 50,000 people are expected to take part in this year's 26.2-mile run, many of whom will have been training over the wetter than usual winter and may not be used to running in the heat. Hugh Brashner, Virgin Money London Marathon event director, said, We monitor the weather forecast for a stay very closely. It is too soon for any weather forecast to be accurate. We have a number of contingency plans in place in case of hot weather and we will be sending advice to runners and spectators later in the week. Workers make the most of the good weather and eat their lunch outside St. Paul's Cathedral in London this afternoon. Another view across the Thames at Gravesend this morning. Forecasters expect temperatures to reach up to 26 C this week. Sunshine highlights the sea of vivid yellow and blue gracing the lawns around Danick Castle, Northumberland.
Today spring finally made its arrival this morning as 100,000 daffodil heads come into bloom above a carpet of chinomadoxas in the historic parkland kids getting their first taste of summer as spring finally arrived on Bournemouth Beach today a person takes part in some water sports in Southend as he takes advantage of a sunny Saturday to go outside today people are pictured enjoying the sunshine today at the Air Force's Memorial Building in Runnymede, Surrey. On Saturday members of the public take advantage of the sunshine and warm weather to spend time on the beach in Brighton and Hove last year saw temperatures hit 25C making it the hottest April day for seven years. The warm weather forecast comes despite a dreary and wet start to Sunday, with vast swathes of the UK experiencing cloudier and cooler weather with a strengthening breeze. Showers are forecast across parts of the southwestern Wales and will be pushed eastwards as the day goes on. Temperatures are down on yesterday's highs of 19 C, with most of the UK enjoying temperatures between 12 C and 14 C. Any remaining rain will clear away northwards by Monday, with a dry day for most with some sunny spells. Temperatures will remain fairly similar to Sunday, but further rain and strong winds, particularly in coastal areas, will arrive across the far west by the evening. A distinct divide will begin to occur between the south and the east, in comparison to the north and the west. Wet and windy weather is forecast for the north and west while the south and the east will be drier and warmer. Come Thursday, Mediterranean and Spanish winds will be pushing over the UK, bringing with it much warmer air that spans a 1,500-mile radius African plume. A man enjoys the warm weather and tops up his tan on a beach in Brighton tourists and Londoners enjoyed warm spring sunshine in St. James Park in Westminster with more sunny weather expected people sat on the grass with deck chairs in St. James Park in Westminster as they enjoyed a day of sunny weather in London two people were pictured in a boat on the serpentine in the spring sunshine in Hyde Park, West London. On Saturday afternoon cyclists were spotted riding in the spring sunshine in Hyde Park. As temperatures reached a new 2018 high in London on Saturday people relaxed on the grass in Hyde Park as they enjoyed warm weather. With even higher temperatures expected next week people sat by the water's edge in Hyde Park, London. As they take advantage of a warm Saturday to go outdoors this afternoon the hottest London marathons on record took place in both 1996 and 2007 when temperatures hit 22.2 C, leading to hundreds of runners collapsing, pictured, a runner being helped to the finished line in 2007 Met Office meteorologist Craig Snell told Mail Online the rain will be followed by a gradual improvement during the week with highs on Monday similar to those on Saturday, though there could still be wet weather in Scotland and Northern Ireland temperatures could reach 70 to 73 f. 21 to 23 c. by Tuesday or Wednesday, he said, with the warmest weather predicted northwest of London and in the Midlands thanks to warm air coming in from the continent. Craig Snell, from the Met Office, added, low pressure to the west and high pressure to the east means we're importing warmer as we go into next week helped by the increase in sunshine. Next week looks pretty promising if you want some warmer weather. It looks pretty dry for most of the working week in England and Wales. It's a first warm spell of weather. People tended to stay away from the seaside today after the bad weather washed over Lyme Regis 2 forecasters chat on the beach in Lyme Regis. This morning after wet weather rained down on the seaside town dog walkers and runners braved the wet weather in Lyme Regis. Dorset yesterday a cold and wet Lyme Regis was nearly deserted except for dog walkers and the occasional runner as the wet weather returned on Sunday.